This is another piece of equipment. This isn't just for research. This is something used in a dental laboratory for uh, making crowns and stuff. This is a sandblasting unit. So what a sandblaster does is um, it allows you to uh, particle abrade or sandblast different types of ceramic materials or any specimen we want to sandblast. Uh, it's, there's two different types of sandblasting beads that we can use in, their, in these containers back here. So the yellow one on the top, you can't see it, but it says GL, and that means it's for glass beads. And the green one is for alumina particles. And inside of the box, we've got two different nozzles. We've got a green one and a yellow one. So the yellow one, again, is for glass, and the green one is for alumina particles. And when they get empty, we can replace them. We've got these jugs here. So this is a jug, and this jug, it says Cobra. Cobra is the, uh, it says alumina particles. You can maybe see right there it's marked that this is 50 micron, or this one here, yeah, 50 micron um, alumina. The glass beads are in a similar container. The only difference is where the sticker is, and this one says it's uh, Rolo Blast glass beads, and these are 100 micron glass beads in, in this container. So, <clears throat> Usually we use 50 micron glass beads. I don't know where that package came from. So, uh, but that's where we uh, replace these with when they run out. Let me show you how, how to turn it on and get it to work. I'm gonna take the camera off the stand. So the first thing we have to do is turn the vacuum cleaner on because when you sandblast, you make a lot of dust. So there's a little vacuum cleaner down here that's attached to the sandblaster. And we turn this, um, I think we turn it to, maybe we turn it to max. And then you'll hear the vacuum cleaner go on. You gotta turn on the sandblaster over here. The light goes on. And when you get, look inside of the sandblaster, you can hear the vacuums working. We've got the two different nozzles. And you'll see down here, there's a little knob. So if you want the, the one that says glass, it's got to be turned towards the yellow, and then we'll use the yellow nozzle. If you want the green one that's alumina, we we'll use the green nozzle, and we have to turn this towards the green side. In order to make the stuff come out, there's a little foot pedal down here that we can press. So we got the green one in there, and we can see you press down on the pedal, stuff is, you can't see it, but it's coming out of the green side. The other thing that we can do here is we can adjust the pressure. Let me turn this off so it's easier to hear. But the way we adjust the pressure is from this no nozzle back here. So right now the pressure is right re reading right around 4 which is um, the same thing as 60 PSI. So that's 4 bar or 60 PSI. That's pretty high. Usually we want it around 2. So in order to change the pressure, we've got to turn this nozzle right here until it reads down to 2. And let's say you want to get it higher. If you turn the nozzle the other way, it won't get higher well, actually, it does get high. It's working now, so... You can press down the button, though, just to confirm. So I'm going to press down the button, and I'm going to turn it while I'm pressing the button. So now you can see, when I'm pressing the button, it reads right at 4. So that's how you change the, the pressure. Here is where we keep the canisters of alumina and glass. There's Inside there is the button for switching and the two nozzles. And right over there is the vacuum cleaner that you turn on and off. And that's our sandblasting machine.